Hello everybody and welcome to the MD show, the Mac and Billy show. I'm Mac, but unfortunately Billy couldn't make it to this interview. Let's go see how Billy is doing first, just in case he can make it. Hi guys, unfortunately I can't make it to this interview. I'm feeling very sick in my stomach. I'm very sorry. I hope you enjoy this interview. Bye. Well, Parks, could you give us some information on your family? Sure thing, Mac. But first, let's tell everyone what Federation is. OK, Parks, we'll cross over to Jaden to tell us. Well, children, Federation was in 1901, and it's when all the colonies and states come together to make one whole country. OK, now, kids, you know a little bit about Federation. Now let's go back to Parks' family. So, <clears throat> well, I was born on the 27th of May, 1815, at Stone Lake in Warwickshire, at England. I have seven siblings, and all of their names have escaped me. I was married to a lovely woman named Clorinda Varney in 1836, and we raised two children, but sadly they passed away. Why and how did you get involved in Federation Parks? Well, I came to Sydney in 1936 and I found out that Australia was not federated. So I made a quest to get Australia federated and became the Premier of New South Wales. I made some amazing changes, like I let men over 21 vote and not just the rich. I also made free non-religious schools for children and improvements on the colony's health systems. Those are some great achievements, Henry. Do you mind me calling you Henry? No, still call me Parks. Okay, I'm sorry. How much work did you do to end up so good, Parks? Well, Mac, I did not go to school. Really? Yep, I taught myself. That's very impressive, Parks. Thank you, Mac. I read books to teach myself, because if you can remember, I did not go to school. That sounds unfair. It must have been hard not going to school, Parks. Yep, it certainly was. I practiced every day, and that's how I ended up as good as I am today. Now, to sum this up, I work very hard and I am now a mark in Australian history. Well, I think that does sum it up, Parks. What was it like in Federation and what changes did you make? Well, I've succeeded and have been a Federationist Premier of New South Wales for a long time and have done it five times. Federation was a hard process for me and I had to work very hard because we had to do a lot of voting because not everyone voted for it in the first and second time, so we had to keep voting for it. In 1889, I declared that we should have a constitution making, which led to making the Commonwealth of Australia. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the end product of Federation, because five years before Federation, I died! Oh no! <laughs>